go tap, tap, tap. Good, up your feet. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. One little body twirls all around. One little body sits back down. Yeah. Try to get a little bit faster. Are you ready? Here we go. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. One little body twirls around. One little body sits back down on the ground on your mat. Now, if it's okay with grown-ups, I'm going to take my mask down while I do the story, okay? But I won't get by anybody with my mask down, okay? And what I'm going to do today is get our hands ready for the story. Now, can you put your hands up like this? Okay, are you ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little tap, tap, tap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Ready a little faster? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little tap, tap, tap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. My ears are to listen, my eyes are to see, my whole body's ready, are as ready as can be. Are you ready? Okay, so today, can you guess why Miss Patty looks like this? Why am I dressed like this? Because uh, you're dressed as a bunny. I am dressed as a bunny. Why would Miss Patty be dressed like a bunny today? Because it's almost going to be Easter. <gasps> Is it really? Yeah. Uh -huh. <gasps> Are you excited about that? Easter Bunny does what? Um, no, that's okay. Easter Bunny does what? Is Easter Bunny going to come? Yeah. And what, and what will the Easter Bunny maybe do? Do you know what the Easter Bunny does? I don't um, know. Well, I've heard that the Easter Bunny sometimes leaves treats for us. Is that true? Yes. Sometimes in a basket, and sometimes the Easter Bunny hides things around. Is that true? Yes. Well, the Easter Bunny went outside. That's okay. Yeah, went outside. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. So are you ready to look and search and find some, some snacks on Easter Day, which is only about a week away? Are you ready for that? Yes. You know, Easter is a very special holiday. It's not just about Easter Bunny. It's about a lot of things, isn't it? There's, there's candy. There's baskets. There's eggs. There's chicks, like these little marshmallow peeps up here. Those are marshmallows. I've never seen purple ones before. Aren't they usually yellow? No. Are, what color are chicks usually, little chicks? Uh, uh, yeah. Like baby chickens? Yeah, like they're usually yellow. But they found purple ones today. Is that funny? Yes. So, but it's also about some other things, and I have some books to share with you today. I'm not going to read all of them, but I'm going to read some of, some of each of them. Really, Easter is about a man named Jesus, and this is a book. We have many books growing up about the real Easter story, too. But, but as you can see, there was a man. Where's that? We watched the movie. Yeah, there was a man named Jesus, and he came from a small town, and he traveled all the way to Jerusalem. That's a city. And one day he rode into the holy city on a donkey. Can you see him on a donkey? There's yeah. a donkey out at Anderson's Orchard, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. And when he came in, all the people were screaming, Hosanna, Hosanna. That means save us. And the leaders got worried. So this is all about Jesus' life. And it tells all about how he was very special. And that is one story of Easter. Then... Of course, Easter is about springtime, new beginnings. So it's about eggs and bunnies, little baby bunnies being hatched. What other little animal might might get born on this time of year? Do you know any other little animals that might be born? Maybe baby puppies? Baby kitties? No. Maybe. I don't know. Baby well, chicks. Baby. Hey, then let's read a story about a baby chick. It's a candy chick. It's a marshmallow chick. And this book is called Owen's Marshmallow Chick by Kevin Hankies. And we have to thank 
the Harper Collins group for letting us read this one today. Owen's marshmallow chick. Watch, Owen's chick is yellow, not purple. Okay? Have you ever eaten one of those? Yes. Do you like them? Yes. Do you like marshmallow chicks? Yeah. You do? Do you like marshmallow chicks? Uh-huh. <gasps> I do. Too. It's the way to Oh, really? Good. Okay, here's what happened to Owen. Owen's a little mouse. Okay? Here he is. On Easter morning, Owen's basket was full. In it, there were jelly beans, grum drops, buttercream eggs, and a big chocolate bunny, and one little marshmallow chick. I think his chick is yellow. Here it is. Owen looked at those jelly beans. My favorite, he said, and he ate them all up. <laughs> Owen looked at the gumdrops that were left in his basket. My favorite, he said, and he ate them all up. Owen looked at the buttercream eggs. My favorite, he said, and he ate them all up. Owen looked at that chocolate bunny. Mmm, my favorite, he said, and he ate them all up. Owen looked at the marshmallow chick. It was beautiful little yellow chick, the same color as his fuzzy yellow blanket. <gasps> Should he eat it up? Owen didn't eat it up. Owen played with his chick all morning. Look, at he's carrying him around on his blanket, giving him a ride. Owen played with his chick all afternoon. Look at the chick is up on the Tower of Blocks. At bedtime, Owen put the chick up on a shelf by his best toy. My favorite, he said. <gasps> is he going to eat it? No, he kissed his chick goodnight. Do you think Owen will play with his chick again tomorrow? Or do you think he'll eat it up? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. We'd have to find out what Owen would do with it. Hey, do you know how to make a bunny out of your hand? You take know. these two fingers and you touch your thumb. Can you try that? Take the pinky and the ring finger and touch your thumb and look what happens. You get a little mouth to talk with and some little ears up here. It's kind of hard to do. You make it any way you can. Yeah, any way you can. Do you have it, Lucy? Very good, yeah. And if you take this and you shine a light on it in your dark bedroom, on the wall, guess what it will look like? A bunny. A bunny, a bunny. Here, the bunny's going to do a little poem with you. Are you ready? So you do the best you can and get your bunny up. Are you ready? Here's a little bunny. His ears are so funny. And here is a hole in the ground. Can you make a hole in the ground? That's where bunnies go. At the first sound she hears, she pricks up her ears and pops right into the ground. Can you put your bunny down in the hole? Stick her in there. Good. Let's try it one more time. Make whatever bunny you can. Can you make some ears? Here's a little bunny with ears that are so funny. Can you wiggle your ears around a little bit? And here is the hole in the ground. Ready? At the first sound she hears, she pricks up her ears. Can you prick up your ears? in the hole in the ground. Can you put your buddy in the hole? Good job. Hey, let's turn into Easter bunnies. Stand up right where you are, but don't leave your spot. Okay, get your little bunny hands up. Are you ready? This is kind of going to be a song, like I'm a little teapot, but we're going to be Easter bunnies. Are you ready? I'm an Easter bunny. Watch me hop. <laughs> Here are my two ears. See how they flop. Can you put your ears up and make them flop? Good job. Here's my cotton tail. And here's my nose. <laughs> I'm all furry from my head to my toes. You gotta go all the way down and touch your toes. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Are you ready? Get your bunny hands up. I'm an Easter bunny, watch me hop. Here are my ears, see how they flop. <laughs> Here
here's my cottontail. And here's my nose. Where's your nose? There it is. Very good. I'm all furry from my head. Go all the way down to my toes. Good job. You may sit back down. And I have one more story to read to you. This one is about a bunny. Her name's Betty Bunny. She loves Easter. You know what she loves best of all? Going on an Easter egg hunt. Do you like to find hidden eggs all around? Yes. When I'm done telling the story today, I'm going to tell you a secret about something that's hiding in our library, okay? Can I tell you that secret? Okay. This is Betty Bunny Loves Easter. And I won't read the whole book to you so that if you wanted to check it out, you could take it home with you and read it yourself. But if, on Easter day after church, Betty Bunny and her family arrived at the park for a big egg hunt. Look at this. Here are everybody going to go on the egg hunt. And Betty, I think this is Betty right here. Betty Bunny's mother and father gave her a brand new basket. It was the biggest Easter basket she had ever seen. Look at that. She can hardly carry it. This is a good size, Betty Bunny told them, struggling to lift it. I always find the most eggs, so I'm sure I'll fill this up. Betty Bunny took her basket and she started to look. Where should she look? Behind a tree? Should she look underneath a rock? Where could she find her egg? Kate, her sister, nudged an egg with her toe. There's one right there. So Betty Bunny grabbed it and put it in her basket. Her brother Henry shook a branch. Betty Bunny looked over and saw there was an egg underneath it. Looks like you found another one, Henry said to Betty Bunny as he put it in the basket. Her brother Bill picked up an egg and put it right into Betty's basket. How do you do it, Bill said, sounding impressed. Betty Bunny stopped looking for eggs. She had a funny look on her face. Why are you helping me? She said. Are her brothers and sisters helping her find eggs? Yeah. We always help you. It's why you find so many eggs, Henry explained. I guess now you're just old enough to notice, Kate said. But we're not helping you that much. Man, you're good at this, Bill said, and he dropped three more eggs in, into her basket. Stop. Stop, Betty Bunny cried out. Easter is my favorite holiday. I'm going to be an Easter Bunny someday, and I can find the eggs all by myself. Do you think she can without her big brothers and sisters helping? Do you think you could find something all by yourself? No. Uh -huh. no? Sometimes, it's hard. Sometimes it's nice that big people help us, isn't it? But yes, mommy, my, mommy can you help me find eggs. Yup. If you can't find something, could a grown-up help you? Uh -huh. Yes, they could. Now, today when you go bye-bye, you get to take a busy bag with you, don't you? And if you've been coming and picking up a busy bag, you kind of already know what's inside. But if you haven't, Case, have you been getting a busy bag? Not lately? Yeah. You have? You like to okay. Well, I'll tell you, you like what's inside so you'll know what to do when you get it, okay? So one thing I want to tell you grown-ups is, Miss Michelle has tried to make sure that they have all of the tools that they need. So their toolbox that we've sent home, we've sent home scissors, erasers, pencils, crayons, rulers, pencil sharpeners, dice. If you don't have some of those things at your house, you let me know and we'll put some in your busy bag for next week, okay? If you don't have them. But let me tell you what's inside your busy bag. In your busy bag, there's all kinds of activity sheets. And we were talking about Dr. Seuss, so we have some Dr. Seuss activity sheets. There's a color page for you to color if you can learn your color words. There's numbers for you to do. Have you ever done one of these before? This is a maze. You have to try to find your way through the wiggly lines. Have you ever done that before? You can do it with your finger and then if you get it right, you can go with a pencil. That's kind of tricky. And there's a Horton from Horton Here's a Who to color. There's some activity pages that look like coloring and activities. A dot to dot for those of you that like dot to dots. You could go on a scavenger hunt with this sheet with your grown-up. And grown-ups, there's also a calendar so they can mark down special things like story time. 
and other activities for grown-ups to see and do. So all of those are in your busy bags, but wait, there's more. If you want, you could make your own buddy mask. Hi, I'm on Easter Buddies. And we have one of these in each of your bags. So you can make your own bunny mask. If you don't like the flower on it, you could put something else on it, couldn't you? Could you put a football helmet on it? On the bunny? Could you put uh, antlers on the bunny? Sure, you can do anything you want. But you can make your own bunny mask at home. There are some eggs in your bag for you to cut out and decorate. You could color the eggs. You could, Miss Michelle put lots of little pieces of paper so you could glue them on and make colorful eggs. See those? If you make an extra one, would you mind giving it to the library so we can decorate with it? That would be nice. If you make two, you could give one back to us, couldn't you? Could you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. And what else is in our busy bin? Oh, there's an Easter crown for you to color and put on your head. You could be the king or queen of Easter. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, this is the best thing. You get to make your own Easter basket. And then maybe the Easter Bunny will hide something in there, or maybe your grown-up could hide something. Or you could play with it. You could hide it and try to find it at your house. You each get your own Easter basket. <gasps> Let me peek and see what else. Oh, my goodness. There's even more things in there. In fact, there's even a tree in there. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today when you go, be sure you get your busy bag, okay? Did you have a little fun today? Yeah, a little bit? Okay, well, we're going to be getting ready to go pretty soon. So I'm going to have everybody stand up right where you are. And we're going to sing a little song called, Are You Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go home? To go home. We had fun together, playing with each other. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Can you sing with me? Try. Are you ready? Are you ready to go home? To go home. We had fun together. Playing with each other. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Now, everybody hold up your hand like this. Make a fist. Are you ready? This little finger says bye to my friends. This second little finger says playtime ends. The third little finger asks if things are set to go. The fourth little finger says remember things I should know. The fifth little finger helps me wave goodbye. We'll be back next week, so don't you cry. And our last little song, we got to march. Hi ho, hi ho, it's time for us to go. Put all things back, grab a busy, busy bag, set. Hi ho, hi ho, ready? One more time, here we go. Hi ho, hi ho, it's time for us to go. Pulling all things back, grab a busy bag, set. Hi ho, hi ho. Now, grown ups, you, you are welcome to check out books for your little one too, but please remember that because of COVID, if they touch any books and you don't decide to take them, they have to go on the browsing table so that we can clean them before we put them away, okay? Now, I'm going to put my mask back on and we'll help you get your busy bag sack and we hope you'll come back next week. Be sure you sign up. Now, if you don't know for sure that you're going to be able to come back next week, you can always call us and sign up, okay? If you know you're going to come back next week, we'll put your name down today, okay? I'm going to put my mask back on. There's my silly mask. And... We'll meet you over there to give you your busy bag. I'm so glad you all came. Thank you, boys and girls.